So this question says the graph of 9x minus 10y equals 19 is translated down four units in the, in the xy plane. What is the x-coordinate of the x-intercept of the resulting graph? So definitely talking about a linear equation here. There's no um, exponents contained in our equation. So first of all, I don't like to deal with linear equations that are not in slope intercept form. I have not seen on this test where it wasn't valuable to me to make sure that it's in slope intercept form. So I'm going to start off by converting this into slope intercept form. By doing to do that, I'm going to get my y value alone. So I have negative 10y equals negative 9x plus 19. I can then divide everything by negative 10, and my equation would therefore be y equals 9 tenths x minus 19 tenths. Now, this equation is going to be translated down four units. Um, so the slope remains the same, right? So what will change about this will just be our y-intercept, so just this portion here. So I want to subtract 4 from that, which is the same as subtracting 40 tenths. Hopefully that makes sense. 40 tenths and 4 is the exact same thing. So my new equation will be y equals 9 tenths x. Again, when we translate a graph, the slope does not change. Hopefully that makes sense. And then minus 59 tenths. So that's my graph translated down those four units. So now I want to figure out, well, what is the x-intercept here? Well, we find the x-intercept by replacing y with 0. The x-intercept for any graph is the place where y is equal to 0. So I'm going to replace y with 0. So I have 0 equals 9 tenths x minus 59 tenths. I can then add 59 tenths to both sides of the equation. Cancels out on the right side. So now I have 59 tenths equals 9 tenths x. I can multiply both sides of this equation by 10 ninths in order to isolate the x value. The tens cancel, the nines cancel. The tens cancel on the left-hand side as well. I'm left with 59 ninths is equal to x. So there is my x-coordinate of the x-intercept, and therefore my answer here is 59 ninths. I can also turn that into a decimal, which would be 9.83. Either of those will be correct.